What's up Diablo 4 players? So for starters, this build requires no mythics. This is going to be one of the top tier builds in the game. It's actually going to be kind of an update to the build that I actually announced that we were going to be playing several days ago, which was going to make use of Banish Lord's Talisman and giving us 100% and I'll go ahead and show you guys real quick in like the uh, training area here 100% overpower so as long as we are consistently attacking we're going to have 100% overpower and that's a pretty big stat in the game but let me go ahead and show you guys some gameplay while we go over the build guide now this is mainly designed around an end game build however again you do not need any mythics I don't have any mythics in the gameplay but materials might will definitely help out with the resistance department otherwise you're going to need a lot of pieces of gear to specifically have the resistances but for starters the most important thing that is going to allow us to actually overpower every single time as kind of like a frequently asked question um, that i was getting is actually banished lord's talisman so the thing is is that this item is actually a very easy drop off of durial i actually have a 24x and it goes up to 60x so we can get way way more damage in fact i'm missing two glyphs and i'm missing some legendary nodes we just haven't progressed that far we're at 170 paragon but in the next couple days we will obviously max that out but it definitely takes a lot longer to max out but you can still get this earlier on and you can actually reach that 275 resource really easy and i'll show you guys how to do that without requiring a lot of greater affixes in the game however if you do get a bunch of greater affixes you could maybe swap a couple items which we'll mention but that's essentially what's giving us the ability to get every single attack to overpower its banished lord's talisman after we spend a certain amount we're going to have our next core skill guaranteed to overpower and it's going to deal a lot more damage now there's another thing that actually makes it very easy to upkeep our resource that is the midnight sun this is how we essentially have infinite resource uh, as well as with the rod of keep it like not really requiring a resource but as long as we actually crit we're going to regain up to 50 percent of the uh Vigor that we actually spent in the last two seconds. So this is actually pretty big here. And you do want to try to get a high roll. Now, the other item is the Ring of the Midday Hunt. This is another unique over here that's going to allow you to actually have the only part that matters, by the way, with this is your maximum Vigor is increased by 50%. It also gives you attack speed, which is okay, but nothing really matters except for the maximum Vigor is increased by 50%. This allows you to hit that number that you need, that 275 very easy for Banner Sword Salesman. Then Rada Keep It Like makes it so when at maximum Vigor, our core skill is going to consume all of our Vigor and it's going to get full damage and it's going to have the, the larger size and it's going to guarantee the critical strike and it deals up to one to three x increased critical strike damage for each point of vigor spent this way so even though this item over here just really is utilized for that resource that does translate to even more damage which is essentially how the build runs so for starters, let's go ahead and actually go over the uh, build. There's actually a couple different variants that you can run. I recently saw one by Rob as well as uh, Ace that was running basically the same build that I built a couple days ago. And if you want to, you can kind of swap things depending on your pieces of gear. Keep in mind, like, I need to level up my spirit. My spirit is level one over here. But, uh, We'll talk more about other things that you can swap in a moment here. But as far as the skills go, we're going to be running Quill Volley. This is our source of damage. We activate it for damage. We upkeep Ravager so we can teleport. We activate Hunter to get a big amount of bonus to damage and a massive amount of damage to injured. And then we run Armor and Hide to grant us Resolve. We don't really need to push this unless we need to break crowd control. If you want to play the variant that does run to Bolt, you can run that as well. And then we are also running Scourge. Uh, this is going to give us more damage, but later in the gameplay, you can swap to Soar. It's up to you on what you want to run. And then we're also running Counterattack literally just for the dodge. And then we're running the Primary Spirit Gorilla. Or if you want to, you can run Jaguar over here. And then on the secondary spirit, you can also run Gorilla if you want to. And that's going to make it so you always have Unstoppable, which is actually quite a nice thing to have. But it's up to you what you want to run. Just don't run Eagle anywhere because your main skill is Eagle. And we need the bonus of Harmony of Abakwa. This is really, really good because this massive amount of damage. And then I don't have it in the gameplay, but I'm going to suggest for you guys, if you can run Tyrael's Might, that is ideal. If not, you can get a chest piece with armor, resistances. Uh, that would definitely help out. You can also run Rakanos Wake the Boots to actually give you resistances. That's what I'm running right now. That would be good also because it does give you uh, non-physical damage which this skill over here as a non-physical it's actually lightning uh, so we would get a bonus uh, with that if we did run the Rakanos Wakes boot and then for our 
uh, gloves over here. We want ranks to quill volley and we want some crit damage. Remember, you need no crit chance in this build. It's going to have 100% crit. But I still think rebounding aspect is the way to go with it because it just does so much damage. If you want higher numerical stats, yeah, you can play something else. You can play Moonrise. You can throw in Adaptability, maybe even Ping Gorgers. But I like the way that this actually behaves. It's just so incredibly good for clear. And then Disobedience Juggernauts. You need some source of armor in the build. You can also run all skulls. That will also really help out. But in the earlier stages, if you don't happen to have like the max level skulls, hey, you can run Disobedience or Juggernaut. It'll still help out a lot. And then for our boots, ideally we we want to throw in the duelist aspect over here so this is going to grant us extra ferocity which will give us a lot of other bonuses in the build very good stuff indeed and then um for our weapon we need the rod of keepy leake just like pretty much every spirit born build for, uh, from going forward is going to be running this this is just too good not to have and ideally if you can get greater advocates to uh, maximum vigor that could be good or the chance for the core skills to actually cast twice that's another good thing to uh, get even on the master working they're running banished Lord's talisman you can do ranks to core skills you can do it at attack speed doesn't really matter it's kind of up to whatever you want um and then we also run the midnight sun and uh, the midday hunt i already mentioned these the only important thing is this gives us lots of resources and this gives us uh, maximum resources so this one refills our resource so we can spend it all and then as far as the runes go uh, i don't happen to have the ones that i would want but uh lith and ohm are good and pock and q and if you're wondering why we'd run pock and q uh, is because, well, we get to spend a lot of resources instantly, and that's part of the build. And then Q will give us that Bulwark. Bulwark will give us Barrier. Barrier is tied to our source of damage. Otherwise, you have to play something else to kind of get those sort of bonuses on your Barrier because that is tied to your damage. And then uh, for the gems, well, we want to get crit damage. That's the most important thing because this gives us a massive, massive amount over here. And then as far as the skill tree goes, I'll go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see it if you're watching this on mobile. So uh, at the start, it doesn't really matter which one you choose because we don't use it. This is mainly geared around endgame, but I will also link down below a like kind of more beginner one if you guys are still doing the campaign. Yeah, you're going to need to put another point into one of the thrash points here. But uh, Quill Volley is what we want to go for. We're going to get all of the... Uh, bonuses over here we can get all the vigor generation which is going to be tied to how we can get infinite uh, overpower you want to be able to get that massive amount of vigor generation so this really helps out we get 50, 15 percent here and then we get another 30 percent here so that's pretty massive 45 percent bonus uh, regen and pretty much at that point you're getting all of your resources back and then it will count as basic skills so we can uh, invest into that then we're getting all the damage damage reduction over here again remember we do not need crit here because we have 100 percent crit uh, one thing that i really uh, did enjoy that I've actually updated here is I'm running fueled one point to this is really good It just gives you extra resources to heal that way You never really have to use potions unless it's the boss I really like having one point to that and then we still want one point into bastion so we can activate revenge It's so we can utilize the gorilla when we have um the thorns apply and we get a bonus uh, multiplier over there and i'll explain that in a moment and i'll explain why we still use it you can run another one which is menagerist uh but uh yeah anyways next up we go into counter attack you can put more points into it if you want you can put three points in it to get extra dodge if you want to then we have dominant one point into this is excellent and then we also have resilience so we can get more hp more damage over here and then since it's also a jaguar skill we get all the bonuses with jaguar this is really important here because we're getting a lot of crit in the build and then we get all the ultimate stuff because we're able to pretty much spam our ultimate uh, as far as uh, its upkeep on its buffs. So we get supremacy for more damage. Uh, we want to max out spiritual attunement. This will also give you more um, maximum vigor. That's really key to, again, reaching that bonus of 275. Just as a heads up, if you do not get 275, play my version that I uploaded yesterday, which I'll also link down below. There's, I know there's going to be so many spirit form builds that we're going to keep on uploading because, I mean, the class is definitely advancing here as we're like learning more things. But the hunter over here is what we're going to be popping for our ultimate. This just gives us a bonus. It's going to max out our ferocity and it's 100x increased damage to injured enemies, which is really good. Um, and then this one, if you want to, you can put it in. Uh, it just lets you spam as long as you kill an enemy. It, it, honestly, if you want to save a point, you can remove it. It's not bad though. And then we are running Pr Prodigy's t Tempo for the key passive and then as far as the paragon board over here we definitely want to get spirit we want as much crit as possible because once we have 100 crit all the multi is going to be there every single time and then we're going to go into the second board which is going to be sapping with revenge the reason why we need revenge right here is because it gives us a bonus to the maximum resource plus it's like one of the best things in the game to actually get it actually gives you extra bonus damage and uh, extra restoration 
And then uh, next we can get Canny. Canny is going to give us non-physical damage. Non-physical damage is going to be utilized for a bonus threshold. And then we're running Vicious Shield, so we can get our bonuses over here with the uh, more barrier that we have, the more damage that we have. That's why I like to run Q. And then the other one, the order doesn't really matter as much, but this one over here will give us some sort of a crowd control with... Uh, the revealing over here so we have some sort of lucky hit and then once the boss is staggered we get like a big damage multiplier and then also fitness is going to increase your crit it also does generate extra bonuses but it also increases your crit strike damage and again this whole build is basically based off 100 crit and overpower and then we also run this one over here convergence this is why we need non-physical damage so convergence is excellent over here because well that's going to be another big multiplier and then we also can run exploit you can run so many other things here there's like another lightning one this one is kind of optional. If you want quality of life, exploit is 100% the way to go. Eventually though, you can swap off of this. I know that our uh, core skill, uh, that's also a basic skill, the Quill Volley, I know that that counts uh, and it will add to the vulnerable, but you have to hit the enemies with three of them. So if you want the best quality of life just to clear out speed, like, you know, just you want the fast build, I would highly recommend just get exploit, level it up, get the additional bonus, and then level up everything else, and then later you can transition. You can actually run so many things, and if you read the notes, I'll put in the notes uh, what other ones that you can swap into, but I think it is a no-brainer to throw an exploit. Until you get those mass amount of paragons, again, you're going to be slamming you know, hundreds of these uh, to go ahead and max out all of your glyphs. Because remember, there's five glyphs. I literally have in the gameplay, I have three. But you want to obviously run five glyphs and you want to go ahead and get them all to 100. And this build will definitely be capable of doing it. But I want to go ahead and update this because, uh, well, I had this one uploaded a couple of days ago and I finally got it up and running for the gameplay because that one was more theory crafted and it does definitely work. But anyways, have some fun with the build, guys. Again, if you do not have the 275 resources, do not play this version of the build, the 100% overpower until you reach that um, play the other one i'll link another one down below but if there's any suggestions to make this build even better definitely let me know down below but thanks for tuning in if you guys enjoyed it drop a like if you're new here hit subscribe to that bell and i'll update you guys with a more final version of it once we each figure out if there's any other ways to improve it but i would say it's relatively min max right now anyways take care and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out and also check the pin that's where everything will be posted